What's up, Plant Nation? Welcome back to my channel, Green Man Grow 7. I'm Sean Knight, and today is Sunday. Laid back as soon as I start filming. You hear the, the bells? It's a church in my neighborhood. Not mad at the church. Not mad at the bells from the church. But as soon as I start filming. Hallelujah. Anyway. So today is a laid back Sunday and I was doing some plant chores today and I have been doing some propagations. And so I wanted to show you guys a new concept and I'm sure this is not new for everyone, but um, yeah, propagation bags. Propagation bag, not the box, but the bag. Check this out. This is a philodendron plowmanii that was going through some stress. So I decided to purchase this bag. And these bags are the large bags that you can get off of Amazon. These bags normally are used to put in comforters and or large towels. And so what I decided to do was to put the uh, plant in some perlite, um, put a little water in the perlite to give the plant some moisture put some perlite at the bottom of the bag with um, that's wet to help create some humidity in the bag. I blew the bag up and now the plant is doing so much better. So, you know, just take a look at that. And this is an idea that I came up with for propagation because as we know, the more humidity certain plants receive, it's better for them, especially if they're stressed. And so I just wanted to give you this helpful little hint and I'll do a part one, this will be the part one, and then I'll do a part two on how the plant recovered, but what actually happened afterwards when I take it out of the bag. And I have another uh, plant, a philodendron dark lord, that I'm doing the same thing. Let me show you that one as well. So in this bag, I have a single stem, one leaf cutting of a philodendron dark lord that did not root yet, that is in sphagnum moss that is sitting in this bag. See, here's the bag. See? I'm not getting any sponsorship from the company, but I just wanted to show you so that you can see. But it's sitting in the bag. The sphagnum moss is moist to help create an atmosphere to produce rooting. And then I have a second cutting of the same plant that has two stems and two leaves. And so basically what I'm doing is using this bag to promote humidity and to give it a space to have moisture to promote rooting. And I believe that this is gonna work out really well because I'm already seeing some of the aerial roots starting to grow. And so I'm gonna keep you guys posted. But again, this is an idea that I came up with, something that is I'm sure some other people have been using, but it's my first time doing it in this way, utilizing these big bags. And so I'm going to do a part two of this video to show you what the outcome was, how the rooting um, took place, and also how strong the roots are, how healthy they are, and what happens when I go ahead and pot the plant. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Take care.